Hello my good people. It's yet another Good Friday whereby we will continue with our uh, education of bangers as per our promise. We promised to give you nothing but the best when we started this channel and we are keeping to our word. For those who have subscribed, I always appreciate you guys because you have given me a very big support and without you, I could not have been where I am at the moment. It's not because of your support that I've been having the morale to continue producing more videos and tirelessly. For those who are appreciating my work, may God bless you. And those who are appreciating that they are getting a very bigger help from this channel, we do appreciate. For those who have not subscribed, please consider doing so. And when you subscribe, make sure you put the notification bell on so that whenever I produce any video, YouTube will automatically notify you and you will never be left behind. Yesterday we, t we started a new topic after finishing about food poisoning. Though the to topic we started yesterday was touched during uh, food poisoning. But most of you people have been asking what is vomiting, what is, does, uh, how does vomiting occur, what are the causes and that is exactly what I'm trying to discuss in this video starting from yesterday so yesterday we discussed about uh, food poisoning in adults in babies in pregnant ladies and also in menstruating ladies and we also started discussing about food poison uh, sorry vomiting prevention in adults today we will discuss how to treat vomiting and we will start by adults treatment for vomiting depends on the underlying cause or it depends with the causative organism or what has caused the vomiting drinking a lot of water and sports drinks containing electrolytes can help prevent dehydration as we have been saying all along Dehydration can cause most severe complications, especially to the kidneys and the brain, if you lose a lot of fluids. So, whenever you are managing anything that can cause dehydration, we always insist on rehydrating somebody or making sure that the person doesn't lose a lot of fluids. So, in adults, it depends on, or in others, we have home remedies. First, we will discuss the home remedies you can apply to prevent uh, vomiting before we go to the medical way. So, the home remedies include the following. Number one, eating small meals consisting of light and plain foods. Small meals consisting of light and plain foods for example rice bread crackers or brat diet we discussed about brat diet and uh, i know everybody understands what it means number two sip clear liquids sip clear liquids another point Rest and avoid physical activity. Rest and avoid physical activity. So, in home remedies we have eating small meals consisting of only light and plain foods. For example, rice, bread, crackers and brat diet. Number two, sip clear liquids. And then number three, Rest and avoid physical activity as the movement can increase the vomiting. Let's discuss 
the medication that can also be helpful in controlling vomiting or nausea and vomiting. Over the counter, all OTC medications, for example, Imodium and Peptobismo, Peptobismo can help or may help suppress nausea and vomiting. Imodium and pe Peptobismo may help suppress nausea and vomiting as you wait for your body to fight off an infection. Obviously, the vomiting will be caused by an infection. So as you give your body time to fight against the, the, the infection, Imodium and Peptobismo can help suppress the nausea and vomiting. Depending on the cause Depending on the course, the doctor may prescribe the doctor may prescribe antiemetics drugs, for example, promethazine, uh, placil or metoclopramide, or on the ster on the on which can be also called zofran. This can help to prevent to, 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 to relieve or to prevent vomiting over the counter and acids all other prescription medications can help to treat symptoms of acid reflux so if the patient has an acid reflux over the counter and the acids all other prescription medications can be help helpful to treat symptoms of acid reflux. And anxiety medications can be prescribed if your vomiting is related to an anxiety condition. Take, take this very clearly, or note this very clearly. And anxiety medications can be pres prescribed if your vomiting is related to an anxiety condition or disorder, let's discuss how to prevent vomiting in babies or young toddlers. Keep baby lying on a stomach or side. Keep the baby lying on his or her stomach or side to lessen the chances of an inhaling the vomitus because if the baby lies upside down or facing upwards and happens to vomit she is he or she is at, in a risk of inhaling the vomitus and when it goes direct to the lungs it can cause severe pneumonia number two make sure your baby co co consumes extra fluids make sure your baby consumes extra fluids such as water, sugar water, oral rehydration solution like pedialyte or uh, gelatin. If your baby is still uh, breastfeeding, continue to breastfeed often or breastfeed on demand. Avoid solid foods. Avoid solid foods. Number four, see a doctor if your baby Refuses to eat or drink anything for more than a few hours. If your baby refuses to drink or eat anything for a few hours, make sure you see your doctor. So, how can you prevent vomiting when you are pregnant? Pregnant women having morning sickness or hyperemesis gravidarum may need IV fluids if unable to retain anything. Severe cases of hyperemesis gravidarum may require total parentero and emetics, for example, promethazine. Severe cases of hyperemesis gravidarum may require total parentero nutrition given through intravenous. Doctor may also prescribe antiemetics, for example, promethazine, Plasil or metoclopramide 
by mouth, all in ravinas, to suppress all suppositories, to suppress or prevent vomiting. This marks the end of our discussion today, and in our next, or the end of our first video today, and in our next video, we will be discussing when should you see a doctor when you are having vomiting. Thank you for your support, guys. Thank you for your time, and let's meet in our next video.